some people may recognize a clinical resource nurse as a rapid response nurse. So basically, I go throughout the house performing as an ICU nurse anywhere um, for any in-house emergency. So I see a lot, um, and a lot of that is failure to rescue. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get a call and I'll be going to see somebody who's a little short of breath. Well, when I get there, it becomes pretty apparent that, you know, everyone's busy, they didn't really notice that their patient was breathing 40 breaths a minute. Normal is 16, that's a problem. And usually at that point we're in trouble and we really have to bring emergency services in because it got missed. The reason it got missed, the nurse was too busy. She was, you know, with other patients. Um, I think the other thing is many stories as I have from my career as a nurse, um, when I was preparing to come here today, I, you know, really thought back on the signatures that we collected for the ballot initiative for the Safe Patient Act. Um, the stories were unbelievable. People would come up, they were so excited that we were doing this. They had stories, you know why? Because they were there, they've seen it. They've lived what we've lived, they've suffered, they've seen their loved ones suffer, and they want this. They're done, we're done. We, you know, as much as it's how many nurses you have and how many patients you see, at the end of the day, when you go home and you've done everything that you possibly can, but you leave with the sorrow in your heart that uh, you couldn't do it all. And who's gonna pay the price for that? So um, that really motivated me to come here and speak today. Um, I have to say, you know, several of the institutions that spoke today, I, I think several of them have ratios better than what we're proposing. So I don't know why they're sitting here denying every other patient in the state of Massachusetts the same right to good health care. There's something wrong with that. Like, if you can do that for your patients, why aren't you letting every other patient have it? You know, and saying that they're listening to their nurses, there's been many nights that we have been on, and you know, whether it's a sick call or all of a sudden we get a huge flow of patients, we were staffed two hours before the shift for the heads that are in the bed. So if you come in with a cardiac arrest, there's no nurse for you. What, what happens for you is the other four ICU nurses, they rally. And you hope that that patient gets what they need and that the other patients that are off waiting in the wings, pressing the bell, not getting answered, get what they need at some point. And it all works out okay. So please, please look at the data talk to a nurse, talk to people who've been in the hospital, and understand what, what we're looking at here. Thank you.